I'm Ryan Kellogg. I'm a new professor of economics at Harris Public Policy. I study energy economics and industrial organization. So actually, my interest in energy predates graduate school. So after college, I worked for BP, formerly British Petroleum, for about four years, doing some petroleum engineering for them in their Houston office. I spent three years uh, living and working in Anchorage, Alaska, actually, uh, working on natural gas pipeline economics for them up there. And I got exposed to a host of really interesting issues about energy infrastructure and how these markets work. But I learned a lot from those experiences uh, when I was working with BP and kind of got a, a lot of the ideas for a lot of my research really stem from those sort of pre-PhD years. And so one that's aimed more downstream um, is trying to understand fuel economy standards and how fuel economy standards interact with having volatile gasoline prices. Um, and this has become a really important policy issue right now. Um, so what I'm thinking about in this particular research project, it's actually an applied theory paper, um, is sort of just how the standard setting process should think in advance about how to deal with gasoline price uncertainty and sort of how do you set a standard when you know you're going to have these shocks that come that are going to hit you in the future. So that's one project looking more at sort of the vehicle choice fuel policy side. Another project I'm working on is looking back upstream and is trying to understand the relationship between landowners in fracking areas and the firms that are actually leasing land and actually doing the drilling and exploring for oil and trying to understand how these contracts, how they actually affect, potentially in a very large way, um, the location and timing with which these wells are drilled. I'm really excited about this new PhD field sequence in energy and environmental economics. One, I'm just excited that the students seem really excited about this new field, just as evidenced by the fact that we have this wonderful turnout for a PhD course. So I'm really hoping that at the end of the day, what students get out of not just my course, but the entire sequence um, is going to be one, just a really solid foundational understanding of what the core concepts are in energy and environmental economics. I want them to kind of walk away with sort of a broad sort of toolbox of techniques they can use to hit problems. Um, and three, I want them to be able to walk away with a really good sense of you know, where the frontier of research is in the field. What, what EPIC provides, at least from my perspective, and what really attracted and a big part of what attracted me to Chicago. I think one, just sort of EPIC provides sort of a nice intellectual focal point for the broad set of folks on the university who are interested in energy broadly writ and also energy economics specifically to come, to come together and have discussions. Like one dimension where I think EPIC is extraordinarily helpful and I think would be hard for an individual researcher to duplicate on his or her own would be connections with the outside world beyond the ivory tower. 